go to sleep, baby. Go to sleep, baby. Oh, hey, Cathedral Kids. It is Miss Rachel here, and I am just busy trying to get this baby to go to sleep. So this baby is actually a clue as to what our story is going to be about today. Does anybody remember the story that we went over last week about a super special and the most important baby that was ever born? Who did we learn about last week? Baby Jesus, you got it. So I'm gonna set this baby down over here, okay? Yes, so that is exactly right. So our story today is going to be all about baby Jesus. So we heard last week about baby Jesus being born and today we will pick up right where we left off last week. So welcome to Cathedral Kids. If this is your first time joining us and so glad that you're here. Thanks for being a part of our time together. And um, our, our story today takes place in the Marty Mikowski Gospel Story Bible. And so I'm gonna ask you a couple questions and um, this is totally up to you. You can talk about these answers with whoever you're watching the video with. Um, if you're by yourself, you can say the answers out loud or you can just think about them or you don't have to do anything at all with these questions. Um, feel free if you want more time to pause the video and talk about the answers. And then I will get started with our story today. Um, so do you remember the name of the people who were waiting in the temple to see baby Jesus when his mom and dad took him there to be dedicated to the Lord? So this is something that you maybe have heard the story before and maybe not, but if you remember the names of the two people who were waiting in the temple um, to meet baby Jesus, who were they? It was a man and a woman. Do you remember their names? Well, if you said Simeon and Anna, that is exactly right. They had been waiting at the temple to meet baby Jesus, to be to see him to be dedicated um, to the Lord. Why do you think that they were waiting for Jesus? Why would Simeon and Anna be waiting for baby Jesus? So they were waiting for the Savior that God would bring to help his people. So remember, for a long, long time, they had been hearing about the Savior that God would bring to help his people, and they were finally ready, and they were super excited to get to meet maybe Jesus. Then the last um, question is, what was so special about Anna's life? What was so special about her life? So Anna actually stayed at the temple every single day and she stayed there praying and she stayed there worshiping and she stayed there fasting. And so she was doing that every single day as she was waiting on this baby Jesus to be born and as she waited on him um, to come to the temple because that signified that um, God had sent the Savior that he had promised. And she was waiting for Jesus. And so just like Anna, we too are waiting for the second coming of Jesus. And I said that was my last question, but that is not my last question. I was just kidding. I have one more question. Does anyone know what Simeon did when he saw the baby Jesus? What did Simeon do? Do you remember that? So Simeon, he took him into his arms. He praised God. He blessed Jesus and his family. And he gave a prophetic word of encouragement. And all of those questions I just asked you, you are going to hear more in our story today. So if you want to follow along, feel free to do so. You do, do not have to. If you don't have this book at home, that's okay. Um, it is the Marty Mikowski Gospel Story Bible. And just as a reminder, we have been um, in the New Testament of this Bible. And so we are going to pick up from where we left off last week. Last week, our story was about the birth of Jesus. And so our story today is called um, Jesus Presented in the Temple. This is story 81. This can be found on page 163 if you have this. And this story comes from Matthew 2, 16 through 23 in Luke chapter 2, 22 through 52. And what do I always like to say before I get started with our Bible reading? God's word is, remember it's one word and I like to say it three times, 
true, true, true. God's word is true, true, true. And I encourage you to find a comfortable spot wherever you are and get those listening ears turned on. Let's let's go ahead and do that together. Let's turn them up. One side and get the other side. Awesome. Are you ready to listen? Yeah. Okay. So Jesus presented in the temple. Before Mary and Joseph fled to Egypt. Can you even see that picture? I just realized you probably can't see it too clearly. I'll make sure after I read to really hold it up so you can get a nice look. Before Mary and Joseph fled to Egypt, they took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. They wanted to offer a sacrifice for him as the firstborn son, just as the law of Moses told them, told them to. Long ago, God had told Moses that every firstborn son belonged to God and must be redeemed with a sacrifice. Many parents went to the temple to make the sacrifice. But something special happened when Mary and Joseph arrived at the temple. They were greeted by an old man named Simeon, who loved God very much. The Holy Spirit had told Simeon that he would live to see the Messiah. He would not die until the Messiah had arrived. When Simeon saw Jesus, he knew the wait was over. Simeon took Jesus in his arms. He thanked God and said, Lord now you are letting your servant depart this life in peace. Just as you promised, my eyes have seen your salvation come in this little boy. You are preparing him to be a light of truth to the Gentiles, which is what non-Jewish people were called. And a glory to your people, Israel. Mary and Joseph marveled at his words. There, were also a prophetess, there was also a prophetess at the temple named Anna. Anna was also very old, and she worshipped the Lord night and day. When she saw all that was going on, she too gave thanks to God for the salvation Jesus was going to bring. After staying some time in Egypt, Joseph was visited in a dream by an angel who told him it was safe to take Jesus back to Israel because the wicked King Herod had died. So Joseph took Mary and Jesus back to a little town called Nazareth. Mary and Joseph raised Jesus in Nazareth, where the little boy grew and became strong. The Bible says he was filled with wisdom and God's special blessing was upon him. Every year while Jesus was growing up, Mary and Joseph took him back to the temple in Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. On one of those trips, when Jesus was 12, he went to the temple and spoke with the teachers there. The prophets who listened were amazed at how much he understood and how, how wise his questions were. But Mary and Joseph left for home without Jesus. When they realized he was missing, they hurried back to Jerusalem to look for him. When they found him, they said, Son, why did you treat us like this? We've been so worried looking for you. Jesus said something surprising. Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know that I had been in my father's house? Then Jesus went home with them. And as the years passed, he grew in wisdom. He was respected by the people and specially loved by God. Did you know that Jesus never sinned? Not even once. Do you and I sin? Yes, we do. He kept God's law perfectly, even as a child. Jesus obeyed the law to honor God so that one day he could trade his obedience for our sin. Can you imagine that? Even though we do bad things, God is willing to take our sins and give us his sinless life. Jesus took the punishment we deserve when he died on the cross so that we can be forgiven. He took the list of our sins and nailed them to the cross and they are gone forever. I want you to take a look at this picture and notice what you see. Who do you see in this picture? Who did you hear about in this story today? Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus and Simeon and Anna. Simeon and Anna, the two of the prophets that were there. Wow. Well, I 
love that story so much about, about baby Jesus. And it tells us how baby Jesus, um, <laughs> didn't stay a baby forever. Right. Um, but that he, he grew and he increased with favor in God and man. And in fact, that is our, um, our Bible truth today. So I want to say this, then I want you to repeat this after me. We'll do it a couple times. So from the, from the time of his dedication at the temple, Jesus increased in favor with God and man. Do you think you can remember that? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll do it in, in sections this time. From the time of his dedication at the temple. And hey, if I were you, you can always make up some fun hand motions. Like you could say like from the time to the dedication at the temple. Actually, I like that. Let's do that together. Are you ready? From the time of his dedication at the temple, or could do temple, Jesus, let's do increase with, in favor with God and man. Let's say that one more time. My hand motions are terrible. I apologize. Feel free to change those however you want or do not do them. But I know for me, it's helpful to always have something to do when I'm trying to remember something. From the time of his dedication at the temple, Jesus increased in favor with God and man. And so that is our Bible truth today. So before we get off um, today, let's um, just go over a couple questions just to help us remember what we learned about in our story. So a couple questions, it'll be the same kind of format. Feel free to skip over these if you're not interested to hear them, or if you want to um, say the answers out loud, or you can always talk about the questions with whoever you're watching this video with. So why did Mary and Joseph take Jesus to the temple? Why did Mary and Joseph take Jesus to the temple? Well, they took him there to offer a sacrifice and to present him to, to who? to the Lord. And why would Mary and Joseph want to present Jesus to the Lord? Why was that something that they wanted to do? Well, the law actually instructed families to present their firstborn, their first baby to the Lord. The firstborn male was to be holy or set apart for God. And Simeon was waiting a really long time to see the Messiah. So how do you think Simeon felt when he finally got to meet baby Jesus? How do you think he must have felt? Like imagine if you had been waiting for something for a really, 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 really long time. And then you finally got to get it. It can be whatever. Imagine that's anything. How, when you finally got to get it, how do you think that would make you feel? joyful, happy, thankful, maybe even like a huge sigh of relief if you finally get it. Sorry, that's my phone going off. Yeah, so I bet he was feeling just super like maybe even overwhelmed with happiness and with gladness. How did Simeon know that Jesus was the Messiah? So the spirit of God actually moved upon his heart to make him aware. And then last question for today, Simeon said in his prayer, my eyes have seen your salvation. How would baby Jesus be God's salvation? How exactly would that happen? So in Simeon's prayer, we heard about today, he said, my eyes have seen your salvation. And remember, Simeon was a prophet. And so, and that kind of means that he was able to um, get glimpses of or get parts of things that had not happened yet, that, but he knew would happen. So how would baby Jesus be God's salvation? Well, Jesus would live a sinless life. We heard in our story today that Jesus never, ever, ever sinned, even as a, as a, ba as a boy, that he would then die on the cross to take our place for the punishment for our sins. And so that is exactly how um, baby Jesus would, would be God's salvation. So 
Thanks so much for listening to our story today. And I am just really excited that we have so many stories left to go over from our gospel story Bible from our New Testament. So lots of fun stories to come. Um, And the cool thing is, is that it starts out with the birth of baby Jesus. And we get to hear stories um, even from today as baby Jesus turns into a, a, a young boy and then what happens in his life. So I am super excited to get to um, share in this fun journey with each of you. So wherever you are, let's um, bow our heads and say a prayer and then I will see you in a week. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for each one of these boys and girls who are here watching this Cathedral Kids video. Um, Thank you so much for giving us your word. your scripture and our Bibles and for teaching us about you and about your son, Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus um, to be our savior, Lord, just like we heard about on this story today. Um, I ask that you would help each of us to be like Anna and that we would worship you, God, and that we would pray to you often. Um, And I ask that you would just, um, Yeah, just help us to love you more and more. And I ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. All right. See you in a week.